Challenge accepted. Those are the words from Five Finger Death Punch frontman Ivan Moody, who shared his reaction to two new songs featuring his former bandmates, Jeremy Spencer and Jason Hook. Jeremy Spencer notably has a project called Psychosexual, where he plays the frontman Devil Daddy, and they put out two new covers. They have a new covers EP, and two of those songs feature Jason Hook. There's a lot of misinformation. People believe that Jason Hook has actually joined this band, and there's two competing groups. That is not the case. But nonetheless, people apparently were bugging Ivan all day about this new project, and uh, Ivan does seem a little bit irritated about it. it. It appears he's joking. Maybe he's a little aggravated by it. Who knows? But his reaction, nonetheless, is very interesting. By the way, uh, if you're interested in checking out those covers from Psychosexual, I've linked to them in the description of this video. It's a very fun project from uh, Jeremy Spencer. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any better. Woof. Got home from watching the Tyson and Jones fight. Man, I'd pay $50 to see that again and again. I've seen fighters half their age fucking go at it like that. That was intense. But that wasn't the apex of my day, no. As I'm driving home, uh, my phone kept blowing up and I was like, fuck. So I pulled over to check it and I got like a hundred different uh, news feeds and they all read something. I thought it was a joke at first, but it's very real. And it read Jason Hook joins forces with Jeremy Spencer. <clears throat> yes! Yes! Let the truth be told! Woo! <laughs> I'm excited. I'm not patronizing. I I'm not. This comes from my heart. I just want to say, by the way, if you're not following Ivan on Instagram, he is very entertaining um, on Instagram. He posts some really funny shit sometimes. Uh, I mean, he's, he, he goes all out. He smashes his TVs. We've talked about some of that stuff here. He's just a very interesting and a very entertaining guy. And I think, uh, you know, like all of us, he can be misunderstood at times. But he's just, he's funny. He's clearly joking in some of this stuff. I think maybe he's a little agitated, but... By and large, he's clearly like sort of taking the piss here. Jason and Jeremy, congratulations. I know you two have waited to do something together for years. And now you have the platform to do it, man. So let's see what you got. Now, I could take this one of two ways. I could take this as a spit in the face, saying that you're going to do bigger and better. And the quote I heard was, and forgive me if I'm wrong on this, was that someone said, the sex appeal has left five finger death punch. Sound familiar? I didn't know we were out for Calvin and Klein ads, but you know, if you're gonna be out there, then reach for the top, man, for car, nor Playgirl, fuck it, right? <sighs> I hope the two of you write the greatest fucking album you can muster. Challenge accepted. I'll be your Huckleberry. Because as of today, I am personally gonna make sure that this new Death Punch album is like nothing you've ever fucking heard before. And to all of our fans, thank you for sticking with us through all these years. Keep your ear to the ground. It's about to get real fucking interesting. Be well. I'm sure it gets frustrating for Ivan when, you know, you've got two guys who have left the band and they're very talented. The fan base loves them. And you bring in these two newer guys. Uh, you've got uh, Charlie and then you've got Andy. They're both very talented musicians and I believe in Charlie's case he was actually picked by Jeremy Spencer when he left the band for health reasons so you know I think people are like ah oh, five finger dead punch I'm not gonna listen to them anymore and stuff like that I think that's nonsense look every band goes through member changes from Kiss to Metallica it's just a fact of life it happens more often than not you know, you could look at Metallica and say, oh, they're just going to change and they're not going to be good anymore. That never happened. Uh, you know, you can look at Slipknot through their member changes. They just had their most successful release. Um, you know, so these these things can, can be complicated and I'm, I'm sure they're frustrating. The key point, the key takeaway here, though, I think is that Ivan is motivated to put out their best record yet. And I believe him. I think that also, the timing is right for him. You know, he's gone through so many struggles over the last few years dealing with the sobriety, and now he's like a shining example of, you know, a sober front man 
when you're surrounded by temptation and you're able to hold on to that. He's done so well there. I think he can actually buckle down now and and really take time on working on a new release, and it would be very interesting to hear how that sounds. And you've got these guys. You've got Andy. You've got Charlie. They're just phenomenal musicians. It'll be interesting. I don't think the Death Punch sound is going to really change, obviously. And, you know, a lot of people compare they cross compare psychosexual to five finger death punch these are two very different things psychosexual is a very fun sort of and not that five finger death punch isn't fun but it's like a fun party like everybody there's hot chicks let's let's go out here and let's be crazy i mean the lead singer's name is devil daddy so uh people who expect that to be a mirror of five finger death punch i think that that is foolish and then for five finger death punch to the contrary, to be a mirror of psychosexual, a band that is very humorous. So, you know, I think they're two different acts. And I don't think that Jeremy and Jason working together is any sort of a slap in the face to Ivan at all. Um, I'm not saying that Ivan took it that way, but he did take it as a bit of a challenge. And listen, competition is good. So I like this. Look, if these two bands want to come out here and compete, let's do it. And then eventually let's make a tour out of it. Five Finger Death Punch versus Psychosexual. And then every night, there's a wrestling match at the end of the show. And, I mean, come on. Let's let's really spice things up here. What do you guys think? Anyways, that is all for now. Thanks so much for joining us today at Rockfeed. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out on breaking news and updates.